and we're at the beginning of the second trip around uh, southeast Tasmania. In this case, we'll be going to begin from Bruni Island Airstrip. And uh, I'm just going to go in taxi to the, the, um, the beginning of runway 14 and take off to the east, um, or to the southeast. And uh, we'll go and have a quick look at the, uh, the South Island and then uh, head off back up the Huon Valley back towards um, at Windrush International Airport, where we started our, our first flight from. So uh, off we go, down, uh, down uh, runway 14, and you'll see that we'll be off the ground very, very quickly. Plenty of runway left behind us, and as we climb up towards Adventure Bay here, um, once I get up to 500 feet, I'll turn for the, uh, the promontory that you can see ahead of you there, which is called Fluted Cape. And uh, from Fluted Cape, We'll keep on climbing for a little while, and from Fluted Cape we will um, we'll start to bear around to the right over um, Mount, Mount Mangana, which is not a very big mountain. It's not very high it's in uh, in southern um, southern Bruni, and then uh, as we get to the um, opposite the mouth of the the Huon Estuary, we'll turn. Um, northwest towards the uh, the Huon Estuary, follow the estuary up all the way to um, towards Port Huon, and then uh, turn uh, turn down and uh, land on runway 09 at Windrush Airport. So we're approaching um, Fluted Cape here. We've uh, we've flown over the whole th whole of um, Adventure Bay now, and you can see that we're turning towards. Um, Mount Mangana. In the distance is the, uh, the the spit of land that runs off the very bottom of um, of southern Bruni Island, and uh, we are heading almost directly underneath these clouds here, almost directly for Cloudy Bay Lagoon. Um, you can see the spit which just uh, almost separates Cloudy Bay Lagoon from Cloudy Bay. There's a private airstrip that runs along the uh, the side of that, and um, Further on down the bottom there, um, at the far corner of uh, Cloudy Bay Lagoon, is um, Cape Bruni, where there's a lighthouse, the southernmost lighthouse in uh, in Australia, I guess. And um, you can see now um, the mouth of the Huon Estuary um, becoming visible in the middle of the right-hand side of the, um, the picture, and we're turning towards it now over um, Luna Wana, this little... Um, settlement down here, and then we'll go directly towards um, the Huon the Huon Estuary, up the Huon Estuary, and and home. So it just give you an idea of what's uh, what there is around the place. The uh, island at the mouth of the of the Huon Estuary over there is called uh, Huon Island, and it is inhabited. There's uh, a couple of houses on it. It's quite a cute thing, and uh, we'll see a little bit of it as we go over. And the other island, just to uh, the forward right of that, is called Garden Island. Again, inhabited, a um, bit more green than than um, than Huon Island, which is uh, has been turned into somebody's estate. I think. Really, don't know very much about what's going on in Huon Island. Off to the left of the mouth of the estuary, there you can see another another group of um, fish breeding um, nettings run by, by uh, Huon Aquaculture. The, uh, the fish breeding industry has become our, our biggest industry down here, really, other than uh, a certain amount of agriculture after the closure of the, um, the, the timber industry some years ago. And uh, the, sh the, the boat that you can see um, in the foreground down there is, uh, is part of the, the, um, the aquaculture um, business. Off to the right, the uh, the body of water there leads into Port Signet and to into Signet itself, which is just about to host its um, annual folk festival. Um, every January we have a we have a, um, a folk festival in uh, in Signet, which is the um, the yuppie paradise, I suppose you'd say, down in our part of the world, and. Uh, it brings us good, relatively good food, good coffee, and uh, otherwise is relatively harmless. So we're heading down now from about uh, 
from about three and a half thousand feet. Um, we're getting down now around about the 2,000 foot mark and we're heading for um, Searches Bay, Kearns Bay along here and we're just about to turn and begin to make our, uh, our descent towards Port Huon um, where we took off from or just near where we took off from and we'll come along over the top of the pier as we come up here and uh, we'll go part way along the the promontory that separates Port uh, Huon from Castle Forbes Bay and as we get over there we'll begin our turn continuing our descent towards Windrush International Airport which is straight ahead of us now and we're just about to cross the eastern boundary of the uh, Huon Estuary over David's blocks of uh, bales of hay over my vineyard and then we can taxi back down again towards the, the river and you'll recognize this from the beginning of the first flight that we took 